Hi YouTube, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna talk about 10 tips I can share with you that you can do in order to progress in your game a little bit faster and 10 things that you can focus on every single day when you're playing the game. Before we get started, just give me a second to shout out very quickly my Discord server. This is a very small community that I'm trying to grow over here. So if you're looking for a small community to join a group of players to play with us together, grind some places together, or maybe you need help with a boss fight, make sure to join our server. Here we have tons of useful information and we're always happy to welcome new, new friends. I so highly, highly recommend the first thing you do when you, when you log in into the game is to check your researches. And as you can see, perfecto. Right now I have one open slot and I have two ready researches and that's why you always want to check your researches first or even if you're already in the game i would do this every you know hour or so to see if anything of those things are ready which brings me to the second tip is do you have crystallization catalysts crafting you always want to have a crystallization catalyst crafting this is one of the most important items in the game for you to progress and become stronger no matter what you're upgrading, whether it is your descendant or whether it is your weapon. This is one of the most important items that you need. That's why I highly recommend you spam this on cooldown. I can give you an extra tip over here about the crystallization catalyst. Try to have materials in advance for your next craft. You don't want to interrupt your other grinds, your other ways. Uh, your other things that you're focusing on so what you want to do is always go to access info and even if you already have one crafting make sure that you have at least enough materials for the next craft so that you don't lose any time going to a specific mission to grind off some of the materials that you're missing always has been my own mistake so my tip is try to get half an hour one hour for dedicated material for example right now i'm running short on mixed energy residue only enough materials for one more craft that means that my butt needs to get over there and open some vaults to get a little bit more so that I'm, I have at least materials for three, four, five crafts ahead. The exact same thing stands for energy activators, right? You've noticed that I don't have one because I picked one. Uh, I picked my energy activator up from the last craft just this morning. I'm giving you a tip that I've run into the same issue right now. Right now, instead of me already putting the other energy activator to the craft back to back to not lose any time because this one specifically takes almost two days for you to craft. Well, I should have prepared myself and I should have went and, and grinded enough heat plasma batteries and foils. Well, now. Instead of me going, you know, grinding for, for other stuff or leveling descendants or weapons and stuff like this, I need to go and spend a little bit of time to get these materials. So my advice is check your materials, have preparation in advance so that you can spam back to back your crafts for crystallization catalysts and for energy activators. The other tip that I can give you, make yourself a priority. And when I say make yourself a priority, decide what is your biggest, what is the one thing that is going to make your progress super quickly and what is going to be your next level. Some kind of a priority for the day or for the week. So if you are focusing on the new descendants that you just unlocked, focus on the descendant, wrap up the descendant, put all your effort and crystallization catalyst into one this, this one thing and then focus on the other things. The next tip that I can give you is do not upgrade more than two things at a time. And in fact, I would even say more than one thing at a time because the upgrades in this game are bound to crystallization catalysts. And, and as you know, a crystallization catalyst takes you seven and a half hours and we're not even counting the material grind so that goes towards that and the blueprint look that you need to get these. So if you're spreading your focus too wide, you are not going to progress too quick in the game. In fact, it will be m way more beneficial if you finish up, let's say first your descendant and then you go for your weapons or vice versa. Just focus on one thing at a time. A fully upgraded weapon or a fully upgraded descendant will definitely will be doing more damage and will have more survivability than a non-fully upgraded one. So my advice here is try to upgrade one thing at a time. I'm just going to give you an example with Fallen Hope. 
I was grinding yesterday six hours for this weapon to get all the necessary blueprint parts so that I can fully max it out the moment I start focusing this weapon. However, I will not focus it for at least another two days because I'm still working on Greg's Reversed Fate. Greg's Reversed Fate right now is the weapon that I'm still working on. And today, all my catalysts and my resets and my effort is going to go towards this weapon. Once I'm fully done with this weapon, with the catalyst, and I'm happy with the build, then I move forward to another weapon or descendant. The next tip that I can give you is when you're logging in on a daily basis, check how much gold and Kuiper do you have, and do you have enough through the day? Because if you're going to be grinding or upgrading a descendant, if you're going to be upgrading a weapon, you obviously will need both of these materials. I, as far as I can see right now, I'm running low on gold. That means that probably if I'm going to run any type of missions today, I would like to prioritize the missions that will, would give me a little bit more gold. So probably I'm going to do some Vobby runs or I'm going to do some Kuiper gold mine or... All right, and the next, the next tip that comes along with this is if you're going to grind for, let's say, Kuiper or gold, make sure that you bring along components that will have you th those modifiers on and make sure you equip them. These make a huge difference. I've tested this many, many, multiple times with and without the components. What's the difference? And sometimes we're speaking about uh, millions. Let's say right now I'm not going to be leveling, um, you know, I'm not going to be leveling my firearm. So I'm not going to be leveling my weapon right now. And I want to focus a little bit on my go drop. So I would put my go, go drop modifier over here. Another tip that I can give you, and this can save you a few clicks every time instead of you swapping out those components, you can actually make presets in the game. I have sometimes a preset for farming. Over here, you can see that I have, have my gold component already pre-equipped, my Kuiper component. And this is also with the, the preset for, uh, you know, grinding, you know, for example, the Vobby run, if I'm doing this with my Vobby. And then I have my, you know, usual boss setup and stuff like this. And you can switch between, between those with just one click and it saves you a little bit of time. All right, and the next tip that I can give you, try to do and open up at least a few amorphous materials per day. You know, throughout playing the game, you will gather more and more amorphous materials from various activities. Uh, and the most tedious ones and, you know, waste of times that I consider are the normal ones. So every time if I find myself in a, in a time gap where I don't know what to do. I just go and straight up lose a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes to clear out one of these materials. They do have a chance for me to, to get a crystallization catalyst or energy activated blueprint. So I always try to clear out the easier ones super quickly. It just literally takes a few seconds of yours to go kill a boss on normal mode and you might get lucky and get a CC or energy activator blueprint. All right, let's talk about passive experience. Now, a big bottleneck for some people, for me personally, it doesn't really matter, but some people really want to level up their mastery rank. And mastery rank will give you obviously some benefits over time. You know, I just didn't ever focus about the mastery rank my, personally. But one tip that I can give you if you have any types of weapons in your inventory, like this, for example, I just crafted this bad boy. It's firearm proficiency level one. Even if not, I'm not going to be using it, I want to put it over here and I want it to soak passively experience so that I save myself a little bit of time while I'm leveling it. Now, if you're playing a descendant that is not super reliant on shooting your gun, for example, Vobby, uh, even if I don't have a reactor that is going to be on this, I can simply equip this one and still do my Vobby run with my third, third skill. And this is going to be soaking a lot of experience passively. If you have the ability to soak experience and to get proficiency experience for your weapons, I highly recommend you do that because this will save you a lot of time. And I have one more tip and that might be a, you know, not so much a really of a tip, but it's more of an advice. And this is have fun, ladies and gentlemen. You know, sooner or later, you will feel that this game is pretty repetitive, right? You will do the same spots over and over again. You will grind about the same amorphous material over and over again. Sometimes you will stuck to a wall, which is I'm doing the same content or same mission over and over again and to you know fight this thing back i suggest you 
try to have more fun. And by that, I say join a community, join a Discord, join Find Yourself Friends. You had fun doing a mission with a public run, try to add them in your friends list. Join a Twitch channel or a creator where you connect with the community and start to have fun. The other thing that you can do to maintain a good level of fun with this game is try to switch it up don't do the same thing over and over again who cares that the best exp is either the bunny cave or it's gonna be the vobby run or it's gonna be the the other void fragment ab abort mission you know type of leveling don't overdo those things this is going to help you burn out from the game much more quicker there is many things to do in this game. Trust me, I have been playing this game since it launched and that's been over one month. I have more than 320 hours invested in the game and I'm still super hyped about the game. There is not a single hour where I have been frustrated playing this game. Why? Because I switch it up. I change the missions. I change everything every time. So my advice is have fun. Find yourself a community uh, or bring along with your friends to the game and have fun. Switch it up. You know, try to do new content here and there. There's tons of descendants to unlock, tons of weapons to unlock and, and build. The game is fun. Keep it that way. And with that being said, if you're looking for, um, you know, a community to join, I'm streaming every day on Twitch and we are having so much fun over there. We're discussing so many different things. I would love to see you there. Come say hi. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. If you watched so far, I would really appreciate you liking this video or maybe even sharing it with a friend. This would really help me out. I hope you enjoy and good luck with your drops.